In today's episode of Fun with Five Tons, we have an M929A2 that has a little bit of a coolant leakage down the seam. Now right now it's looking pretty dry, but when we were up to temperature in that, it was just having a little bit of a drip drip. So we've got to pull the shroud, get this tank all off of here, you know, drain it out, and we've got some new gaskets, which happen to be right here. And for anybody who's knowing, there's the there's the numbers on it. Offhand, I can't remember who I got these from. I think I got them from Memphis Trucks. But we're going to be pulling a bunch apart, apart here, recovering the coolant because it is new coolant. So we've got additive in it. So we'll get this apart here and then show you what the inside of that all looks like. All right, as you can see, We've got it uh, cleaned up, and uh, the military does use some silicone on that, mainly because uh, there's definitely some irregularities to that surface. And that, uh, as you see, we've got to pull out the upper support so you can get the shrouds out of it. Otherwise, you know, those shrouds aren't too bad to get out. And what we've got over here is our tank. We got the surface of the tank cleaned up. We're going to wipe out that inside of that tank here shortly. And our gaskets here are two piece gaskets. And as you can see, they kind of interlock together with like a puzzle. And we're going to use a little bit, of, a little bit of silicone, maybe some spray tack on there. And then when we tighten them down, because I could never find any torque specs for this, I'm going to tighten them down just like I would on a. Uh, transmission pan. You'll just kind of run them until you see it start to squish and then you better stop. And that should uh, seal it up good and keep it in good shape. Then we'll get it all run up and uh, run up to temp, verify our fan comes on, make sure we got no leaks, and we should be good. So, for those of you who are looking at doing this, these aren't too bad to do in the truck. Matter of fact, it's probably a lot more work to take that radiator out of the truck and do it than it would be to just take care of the tanks in the truck. Now, I think the only reason I'd want to pull that radiator is if I actually had a core problem. In which case, then you don't have any choice because you have to get it out to get to a radiator shop. Well, we got it all back together. Now we got to run it at a bit of high idle so that we can uh, get it up to press and check everything. and the temperature so that we can see that cooling fan run. This one will be good to go. You can take it back up to his ranch and see what he does with his dump truck. 